Hello everybody and welcome to a short tutorial video I'm going to do about PC Replay Baseball. I've had a few questions be asked of me about PC Replay and how it works, especially one individual in particular that is curious about how PC Replay works. So I thought I would do take the time to do tutorial videos on this what I think is a pretty excellent baseball sim because it has so many features to it that you can interact with and it can be overwhelming at times when, especially when you first get into it and so I would like to be able to uh, be able to show you as much as I can about the uh, the game so to start with, this is going to be the first tutorial video of a few that I will do. One of the th one of the things about this game is that it's not free. You do have to buy it. So and when you buy it, you get a choice of a season, I believe. Still, it comes with your choice of one free season. Additional seasons are available for purchase. And when you buy the game, you will get an email sent to you. You'll have you will have to send an email to the developers at a certain address with a machine number, with a machine code, and then they will email you back with a registration code. And when you receive that registration code, that code will include your season. And in order to register the game to be registered, you will have to click on this button up here that says register. And then copy and paste your code into the box and click OK. And once you do that, you're registered along with your season. However, you still need to install your season. So you will go over here to install season and you will use a drop down box to select the season that you selected upon purchase. And once you do, you will you will hit install. You will click on install and it will install your selected season to the game. I don't have a season to install or I would you know just for tutorial's sake. So that is how you get your first season up and going on PC Replay. Now another thing that I wanted to touch base on because it got asked of me about is images, logo, logo images, player images, and ballparks. Yes, you can get them and it is very, very easy to get, to get as well. In, in very little time, you will have everything you need. So we have the about, we have the register, we have the convert version 3. You won't need that unless you have version 3. Install seasons, restore, season restore, restore a pre previously backed up season in case something goes wrong. Park HR, you can edit parks. And then we have this button right here that says that's for user created graphics. And that's where you go to download user-created images. You click on that. And you'll see a drop-down box here that below Season Graphics Download. This will automatically install user-created player photos, team logos, and manager photos for the selected season. So you'll want to go down to your installed season and select on that and click download and once you click download it will download and install automatically all of these images created user created player photos team logos and manager photos all get put in via this it's very very streamlined Ballpark graphics is a little different, but still pretty simple. 
you will you have to click on this download button that will download a file through your web browser containing the available ballpark graphics and please note this is a very large file about 250 megabytes when downloaded you will need to manually manually install by clicking the downloaded file replay ballpark pack version 4.exe it's an executable installer that will run and it will autom and that installer will install the ballpark graphics that you need for all the ballparks all of them regardless of season then down below you have slideshow graphics intro sounds download this will download a file through your web browser containing graphics which can be used for the main screen slideshow it also includes sound files for use on the main screen and also at the start of a game this is a very large file 71 megabytes so not as large as the ballparks however is still large when downloaded you will need to manually manually install by clicking the downloaded file replay baseball intro splash.exe so again it's an executable file and it will install once you go through the x the uh, installer wizard for that one as well so as you can see getting graphics and sounds and such very very easy very streamlined and you know no other game really has such a streamlined method for getting graphics action the action pc games certainly don't you have to you have to go to a website you have to download files you have to you have to put the files in the correct file folder for them to work and all that so as action replay is don't get me wrong action replay is really good because they're they're highly customizable and you can do whatever the heck you want with those games whatever your heart desires with those games but this is really streamlined with PC replay how you are able to get graphics into your season pretty much with one click of the button in the case of season graphics and just by running an installer for your ballpark graphics and your slideshow graphics it really really is that simple and there, there's got to be a way to exit out of it too I, I'll just download the 2011 file again so that you can see you may not download it but you'll get a sense here on the 2011 download file of how it works so it's downloading a lot of images so it takes a bit to do but once it's done it's going to be well worth it And so that is how you do that bear with me here a moment I'm gonna close the game if I can
I'm um, opening up a new instance apparently. So we'll just use this instance now and I'll figure out how to get out of that other instance in a little bit here. So I found a way to open a new instance to get me out of that. And I just uh, I just want to show off a few more things that will go into more in depth here in future tutorial vid videos. Off to the right here, you have your main screen and you have options. You can go here to set various options. Some options you cannot set until you actually select and open up a season. Then you have new exhibition. Here you can pick any two teams from any of the seasons that you have and match them up in a series, a one-off exhibition game, or you can do a series best of three, five, seven, or nine games. You can name this exhibition whatever you want. You can name it. You can name it anything you want, and you can set the date on which you want it to start. You can even so like now it's after midnight, so it's the computer is picking up. That's March 18th. So you can start it on March 18th if you want. You also have various settings off to the right for rules. Save rules, whatever you want there. Sacrifice fly rules. You can change the game ending home run to a base hit. Then you have season options that you can set as you want to as well. So that is nice that you can create a one-off game or series between two teams. You can also choose on these teams whether or not the teams use the designated hitter. You can also choose to create your own league. This is something I will delve into your own season, your own league. And this is something I will delve into more in a future tutorial video, as it is quite complex. Is it can be quite complex. And then you also have the ability to create a new playoffs. So as you can see, and you can have a lot of teams up there. You can have 32 teams, up to 32 teams in a playoffs. And you can have the series length, how many ever you want. And you can pick from all your seasons which teams you would like to do a playoff tournament with. And again, you can set the date for the start of the playoffs. Rename your postseason as, as much as you want. To whatever you want. And then we have the draft. And this is something else I will do in a future video on because it is also very complex. But you will also need to utilize the draft pool in doing this. So that is something more complex that we will get into in a future in a future video. So that is all I wanted to go over right now. I just wanted to uh, take the time to go over how to get images, how to first register your game when you when you buy it, if you buy it. I hope 
you will consider buying it because really it is good value for the dollar. And once you pick up a few seasons like I have, it opens up a world of options for you down the road as far as creating seasons of your own. If, if you want to match up two particular teams to see how they would play out in a what-if scenario, it allows you to do that in a one-off game or a series through the exhibition creation. Season creation, you can create your own season, create your own playoffs, your own tournament. And then you can also wipe all the rosters from a season and create a draft season of your own. So it really, really does offer quite a lot of quite a lot of options for you that I will be delving into in future videos. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I always 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 am looking for more subscribers and also am looking for more people to participate in on the chats on the live streams it's a lot of fun and there's some great people in there to chat with so until next time i'm robbie and i hope to see you again have a good night